we have actually just recently found out that uh, skin fibroblasts are not a homogeneous uh, population, but there's actually two lineages that develop during uh, embryogenesis. And uh, we have also found out that those two lineages have a distinct function during homo homeostasis, but also during regeneration. So for example, the, the upper lineage, which is found uh, primarily in the, in the upper dermis, um, is actually important for hair follicle uh, development, whereas the second lineage um, comprises mostly reticular fibroblasts, which produce the bulk of uh, collagens and extracellular matrix, and they are very important in the first phase of wound healing. And uh, this is actually the reason uh, why we have scab formation in adult uh, skin after injury, because uh, this uh, second um, fibroblast lineage, which is important for uh, hair follicle uh, formation, actually diminishes uh, with age. And uh, the reason why we think uh, that uh, these fibroblasts might actually play different roles in cancer is that they have this distinct function in homeostasis in the regeneration. And um, we have uh, done a study where we actually activated uh, the wind beta catenin signaling pathway in epidermal cells. Uh, and this pathway is actually uh, fairly often uh, overexpressed and overregulated in different types of cancers. And uh, we could show uh, that epidermal cells with this uh, mutation uh, produce a plethora of growth factors which uh, um, modulate their microenvironment. And they have a distinct, um, and the fibroblasts from these two lineages uh, respond uh, in a distinct manner. And uh, that's why we actually think that it is important to look into this. And uh, we are keen on finding out how mutated epidermal cells or melanoma cells um, communicate with these fibroblasts uh, in order to find new therapies.